Ever wondered who the largest ancestry group in America is? You might be surprised to know that it's German Americans. Yes, indeed. The journey of German Americans began in the late 17th century, around the 1670s, when the first significant wave of German immigrants set foot on American soil. They primarily chose Pennsylvania, New York, and Virginia as their new homes. The reasons behind their move were multifaceted. Some were escaping worsening opportunities and religious persecution in Europe, while others were evading military conscription. The allure of better economic conditions and the promise of religious freedom in America acted as strong pull factors for these pioneers. Germantown, Pennsylvania holds a special place in this narrative as it was the first permanent German settlement in America, founded in 1683. This marked the beginning of a significant German presence in the United States. From the late 17th century to the mid 18th century, a steady stream of Germans continued to migrate to America. Pennsylvania, with its welcoming environment and opportunities, remained a favored destination. The story of the German Americans is not just about migration, it's about resilience, adaptability, and the creation of a new identity. They maintained their customs and language, emphasized farm ownership, and even tolerated the societal norms of the time, such as slavery. Their journey and settlement in America were not without challenges, but they persevered. So it appears that German roots run deep in America, starting as early as the 17th century. The story of German Americans is a testament to the multicultural fabric of America, a country that has been, and continues to be, shaped by the dreams and aspirations of immigrants from around the globe. Did you know that some of the things you consider quintessentially American actually have German origins? Let's take a journey through the rich tapestry of American culture, and you may be surprised to discover the profound influence German Americans have had on the customs and traditions we hold dear. One of the most significant contributions is the establishment of kindergartens. Yes, that's right. The concept of kindergartens, meaning children's garden in German, was brought to America by German immigrants. This revolutionary idea of early childhood education has since become a fundamental part of the American education system. Now think about the festive season. Picture the twinkling lights, the joyous carols, and the beautifully adorned evergreen tree. This iconic symbol of Christmas, the Christmas tree, was introduced to America by German settlers. It has since become a cornerstone of American holiday traditions, illuminating homes across the country every winter. And what about the food? American cuisine has been significantly shaped by German influences. Imagine biting into a juicy hot dog at a baseball game, or firing up the grill for a backyard cookout featuring mouth-watering hamburgers. Both of these iconic American foods have their roots in German cuisine. The hot dog, or Frankfurter, hails from Frankfurt, Germany, and the hamburger is named after the German city of Hamburg. So German Americans have certainly left an indelible mark on American culture. Their contributions have shaped many aspects of American life from education and holiday traditions to the foods we relish. Next time you enjoy a hot dog or put up a Christmas tree, remember the German influence on these beloved traditions. So where do we find the most significant German-American influence today? Well, the German-American community is thriving and continues to be the largest self-reported ancestry group in the United States, accounting for approximately 17% of the total population. This translates to over 44.9 million Americans who identify as German, either alone or in combination with other ancestries. The state with the largest population of German Americans is Pennsylvania, home to three and a half million people of German ancestry. This is no surprise considering Pennsylvania was a favored destination for German immigrants back in the 1670s. Today, the influence of these early settlers is still evident in the state's culture, traditions, and even its cuisine. But the German influence isn't limited to Pennsylvania. There's a veritable German belt spanning from the East Coast to the Oregon Coast, a testament to the widespread geographical distribution of German Americans. While most German Americans have assimilated into the general American culture, they still maintain some of their German customs and language. Many German Americans are members of German American societies, which are dedicated to preserving and promoting their unique heritage. These societies often organize celebrations and festivals that keep German traditions alive. Oktoberfest, for instance, is a popular German festival that has been embraced by Americans nationwide. These celebrations are vibrant displays of German culture filled with traditional music, dances, and of course, German food and beer. In addition to these societies and celebrations, around 180,000 permanent residents from Germany were living in the U.S. in 2020. 
These individuals contribute to the diversity and richness of the German-American community. Even today, the German influence in America is undeniable, from our population demographics to our cultural celebrations. Now, I have a question for you. Can you think of any other ways German-Americans have influenced American culture? This isn't a quiz. It's an invitation to dive deeper, to explore further, and to share your unique perspective. You might have personal experiences or anecdotes about German-American culture, or perhaps you've noticed other ways this vibrant group has shaped America that we didn't touch on. And let's not stop here. America is a rich tapestry of cultures with stories waiting to be told. Perhaps you'd like to hear about the Italian Americans, the Irish Americans, or delve deeper into specific aspects of German American culture. So let's keep the conversation going. Your thoughts, experiences, and suggestions are what make this community thrive. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel so you never miss a new video. Also, tell me in the comments which topic you'd like me to explore next. Until then, auf Wiedersehen.